Merry Christmas everyone. I am Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some homemade eggnog. Now, if you're looking for a recipe without raw eggs, this is the one for you. It's easy, it's delicious, and you're really going to love it. So the recipe I'm going to show you today serves two to three people. Now this is perfect if you want to just try it out and see what you think. You can also, also adjust all the flavorings, make it a little sweeter, add a little more vanilla or less, depending on what you want. But it's a great way to start out, see what you think, and then I'm also going to put below in the description, I'll put a serving for say six people. So that way you can try it for a larger group and you can double that, it's easy to do. So let's go over our ingredients and we'll get started. So we're going to start off, we're going to need a couple of eggs and we're going to need a third of a cup of regular sugar. Next we'll need two-thirds of a cup of whole milk. I want you to use whole milk for this so it's nice and rich and creamy. And then we also have two-thirds of a cup of heavy whipping cream. I like to use the natural, 100% natural one here. Uh, if you read labels, and I want to encourage you to do that, uh, you'll see that some of them have a lot of other additives to them, thickeners. So uh, the one I'm using, it has 100% just cream. You'll also need a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And here's, here's an important ingredient. If you've never used whole uh, nutmeg, you're going to want to get yourself a bottle of this in the spice section of the store. And you'll need a microplane to grate it up. And it really makes a huge difference. When I started using whole nutmeg, I noticed the flavor is just so much better. So I encourage you to try that. OK, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and, and get us a bowl. And I'm going to add my two eggs to the bowl. And then we're going to whisk in our sugar. So we'll add our sugar to the bowl. And you're going to blend it up. Until everything is nicely combined and the, and the sugar is dissolved. So just take a minute or so. Okay, so now we're ready to start cooking our mixture. So I'm going to take the whole milk and I'm going to pour it into a heavy saucepan like I have here. Put the heat on to low. And if you have a candy thermometer, you're going to want to use this. If you don't, uh, basically just don't boil your milk. Get it really nice and hot and kind of like steamy, um, but don't boil it. So this will take a few minutes and we're going to just go ahead and wait for the temperature to come up. I'm going to get it up to 160 and we'll go from there. Okay, so the milk temperature is up to 160, so I'm going to stop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip this one more time. This is the egg and the sugar. And now we need to add this. We're going to be tempering our eggs here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour this milk in very slowly while we whisk briskly. This will slowly cook or temper the eggs so they don't scramble. If you pour it all in at once, it's going to scramble the eggs. Now once I get this all mixed in, I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing. We're going to put it back in the frying pan, I mean into the saucepan, excuse me, and we're going to go ahead and let it simmer for about you know five or six minutes or until the temperature gets back up to 160. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the egg mixture back into the, into the saucepan, just like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the flame back on to low. Get my candy thermometer, and I'm going to monitor the temperature. And I don't want this to get too hot because I don't want to scramble the eggs. We're just going to let this slowly get back up to 160. Now what we're doing here is we're just cooking the eggs completely so that you know we don't have any problems with salmonella or any other you know problems any other bacteria so this will cook it up and make it safe also what we're going to look for here while we're cooking is for this mixture to thicken up slightly and coat your spoon now it's starting to get there but it's not quite there yet so we're going to let this go a little bit longer but if you don't have the thermometer that's what you're going to be looking for you're looking for this to thicken slightly and when you put your spoon in there, 
it coats the back of the spoon. See, it's not quite there yet. Okay, our temperature says 160. It's going up a little bit, but nice and slow. And I can see that it's thickening up. Can you see how this is coating the spoon now? That's what you're looking for. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but it is getting slightly thicker. That means our eggs are cooking. And we're getting that coating. I just I want to go just a little bit longer. Just be careful not to burn it. But now you can see it's coating the spoon. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to stir it all up really nice. I'm going to turn off the heat. So now what I want to do, I took the, the mixture off the stove, it's sitting right here, and now I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to put my two-thirds of a cup of the heavy whipping cream into that bowl. I'm going to add my half a teaspoon of vanilla extract to that, and I'm going to hand mix it. And what I want to do is I don't want to whip it completely, I just want to thicken it up a little bit before I add it to my egg mixture. This will take about a minute or two to do. Okay, you can see here that it's starting to get a little more body to it. It's not completely a liquid. And that's about where I want to stop. Now, back to my egg mixture. I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. And I'm going to add the cream mixture to it. And you always want to add your vanilla extract like I did into the whipping cream. You don't want to add it when you're cooking your eggs because then, you know, uh, vanilla extract has some alcohol in it and you don't want it to evaporate and not be able to taste it. So that's why we want to add it when things are cool. Now go ahead and get yourself a piece of wax paper like I have here, your microplane and your one quarter teaspoon measuring uh, spoon. So you're going to take your nutmeg and you're just going to run it over your microplane and you're going to try and get it into the, to the measuring uh, spoon. And that's what the wax paper is for. It's going to catch everything that, mix, that you miss and then you can pour it back in. Now we'll go ahead and add that nutmeg to our mixture. Sprinkle it in and stir it until it's well combined. Now sometimes your eggs will have little chunky parts in it. You know, when you cook it, so I like to strain it to make sure it's nice and smooth, just in case there's any of that in your eggnog. So I've got a strainer here in a bowl to catch it. And I'm just going to pour my eggnog in there. And then pour it into whatever you want. You know, you can pour it into a, I'm going to use a mason jar, um, just because I have one of those handy. And it should all fit. And now you just chill it. Okay, so I've got the eggnog. Make the water bath if you want to chill it really fast. Like I've got here, I've got ice and nice cold water. And it's cooling down nicely. You really want to serve this nice and cold. And I'm excited about tasting it, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. You get a spoon. Just going to stir it up a little bit. Oh, man. Nice and creamy. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Mmm, just a little too warm yet, but man, the flavor is there. And really, get yourself some of these whole nutmegs. They make a world of difference. You just can't imagine. It's just incredible. Thanks for watching my video. Try this. Make this for New Year's. It'd be great. Or next Christmas. Sorry it's a little bit late for this Christmas, but try it for New Year's. Have a party. Everybody's going to love this. It is delicious. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel right up there. All right, talk to you soon.